Hey everyone, it's Joe Larson with EXP Realty and we've got another edition of Virtual Reality House Hunting. Appreciate you guys watching. We're here checking out property at 2493 Moon Harbor Way here in Middleburg, Florida. Beautiful day outside today. Uh, I think it's like 82 degrees outside, so it's nice that we no longer have the uh, polar vortex or polar plunge. Uh, sorry to all you uh, Midwest people who had to uh, experience the negative 40 and negative 50 degrees. But hey, why don't you get out of that climate and move on down to Florida. Perfect house here. Uh, this house is, uh, like I said, located in Middleburg, Florida. It's a corner lot. Architectural shingle roof. Roof is about five years old and um, brick, brick all the way around. This house is an original homeowner house. The, the folks, the homeowners that live here have meticulously maintained this property. It is absolutely gorgeous property. Um, there is nothing short of quality in this house. So you got the beautiful oak tree in the front. Obviously they've raised uh, the canopy of the tree uh, to provide uh, good, good shade. I love what they've done with all the trees, uh, provided them with the cement curbing around. Uh, and put the, the nice rock in the bedding. This house is located in the villages of Fireside. You do have an HOA fee here of just over $600 a year. Not too bad. No CDD, which is a plus. We'll come to the front porch here and check out We'll check out the view from the front porch. You do have a small front porch. We've got Willis. He's going to take us around and show us the way as well. What's fantastic is that you've got a trail down to Black Creek, and you also have a dock down to Black Creek, so you can take your boat up to uh, Black Creek, go fishing, swimming, take your boat, whatever you want to do. But it's just around the corner there. Gutters on the house, which is not normal in Florida. So it's nice that they added that. I love the beautiful storm door, and let's come on inside. I'm gonna go ahead and place the camera down here at the front foyer. I'm gonna close the front door so that way you get a, a good view. Again, guys, this is a virtual reality uh, video, so you can look around 360 degrees. Take your, if you're on a mobile device, take your finger and move the screen around, or if you're on your computer, take the mouse and move the screen around. To my right, we have the formal dining room, and then to my left, we have a flex space. This is going to be the family room or living room, but beautiful uh, and very clean. You've got the, it looks to be 20 by 20 diagonally placed tile, the updated Shaw laminate floors, these are scratch proof floors. These have been in here for a number of years and they look brand new. Uh, it's really nice. In the dining room, we have the chair rail with the nice uh, trim around to simulate the wainscoting. Really nice and bright. I love the brass chandelier, the huge window. I got the lights turned on, but you don't because this, you don't need to have them turned on just because this house lets in a lot of natural light. Let's check out the center. We'll call this the living room. Uh, living room here. And again, you've got plenty of space. I like how they added the crown molding around. This house is over 20 years old. And so in this era, they had popcorn ceilings. So the homeowner had eliminated the popcorn ceilings and added in knockdown ceilings. So it's a nice touch. We're going to go ahead and check out the laundry room. Very large utility room. Washer and dryer do not come with the house, but all the appliances do. All the other appliances are right around three years old. We'll check out the first two bedrooms and bathroom. We'll go to the left. These bedrooms are a good size. This is a full size bed. You've got a big bulky furniture in here and you still have plenty of space to move around. So that's good. And then check out the size of this closet. 
mean, this is this is a huge closet. Very well portioned for this size of room. Bedroom number two. Very similar size. Closet is still a good size, not as big as the other one, but this is still a good size. When you're buying a house in the state of Florida, the rule of thumb is anything that is affixed or installed to the wall. In other words, in layman's terms, if it requires a screwdriver or a shovel, it's assumed to be conveyed with the sale of the property. The TV does not come. I know that I said a lot there, but I can, sometimes I got to get technical, you know. I'm going to close the door so we have a full scope of the bathroom. Here's the guest bath, toiletry, single vanity, you have the nice square tile and a solid tub. This is nice, it's a nice updated feature, a lot of times you'll see the shower and tub insert, but this is a, a nice touch as well. Very clean, fresh and simple. We're going to check out the kitchen area. This kitchen is huge. Again, as I mentioned, the appliances are stainless steel, uh, LG appliances, oh. and uh, you got the dishwasher, double basin sink, stainless steel, double basin sink, garbage disposal, uh, really nice chrome faucet, white cabinets, brushed nickel hardware, you do have the nice tile backsplash as well, granite countertops. What's nice about these granite countertops is, first of all, you have a ton of countertop space, but second of all is the edging on the countertop, which is very nice, right? That's a custom edging. Most of the time you see uh, where it's just squared off. This is not squared off. So it, it gives it a really nice detail. Moving on to the third bedroom, which is utilized as a flex space or an office space but this is technically the fourth bedroom and behind the door entry is the closet pretty decent size this house is fantastic uh, you know for family now these homeowners have been here obviously they're original homeowners so they've got every record and recollection of this house What's great is you've got this area here now, which is the breakfast nook area. You've got the sliding glass door that goes outside. And this whole space is wide open. I'm going to bring the camera over here now to the family room. I'll put that in the center. You guys can take a minute to pan around. You've got the tall beam along the tall ceiling. Or not the tall beam, excuse me. You've got the tall ceiling uh, and you've got the beam in the center, which gives it a nice decorative touch. I know that's structural, it's not decorative, but when you've got the combination, um, it looks great. Nice and wide open. This is great for family gatherings, family and friend gatherings, holidays, parties, whichever lavish lifestyle you have. Shiplap on the wall above the fireplace. It is a wood-burning fireplace, however, they do have an electric insert there. Just makes things easier. The home entertainment system does not come with the house. Let's check out the master. This master bedroom is huge. Again, they've continued the shiplap into the master bedroom, which gives it a really nice, elegant touch. That is, it looks to be a queen-size bed, but you can easily fit a king-size bed in here. Um, this furniture is very, very nice furniture and you've got plenty of space in here. Let's check out the, they've got two closets in here, his and hers closet, and we're gonna check out hers first. Her closet is substantially larger than his. Obviously, they've got a lot of clothes in here, so it's gonna feel a little bit tight when you're watching it on the video, but I promise you, uh, this is a good size closet. Very organized. 
We'll check out his closet now. I don't know why it is, but some t the guys just don't get as big enough closet as the women. I know me personally, I like my shoes. I like to wear sneakers. Nice and color coordinated. Good job. We'll check out the master bath. Okay, we've got his and hers sink. Walk-in shower. I'm going to close the door so you guys can toiletry over here. So you've got the garden bath, uh, garden tub. Very nice, very clean. You know this this is move-in ready. This is clean and functional and a move-in ready house. I know so for most people they watch HGTV and they want all the shiny objects and the glitz and glamour, but I assure you. This house is good quality. Let's check out the backyard, guys, and then we'll wrap up this video. Do me a favor while we're walking outside. Go ahead and like the video, comment, leave me a comment, let me know what you guys think. Maybe even share and subscribe. Nice sliding glass door. I think I mentioned the roof, the AC are about five years old. The water heater is about four years old. The appliances are three years old. What's great is that the roof is an architectural shingle roof, so those normally can last you somewhere between 25 to 30 years, obviously depending on how you maintain it. I'm going to hold the camera up so that way it just doesn't tilt. Roof is in great shape, and obviously there's no tall trees around except for the one in the front, but they've raised the canopy up, so you don't have to worry about uh, limbs brushing against the roof. They've got an RV back here. They created uh, a pathway for the RV so that way you're not damaging the lawn and even back here if you wanted to put in a pool you can you've got plenty of space to do so and you still have uh, enough adequate space on the other side to uh, for the kids as well we're gonna head out over here on the side of the house just to uh, check out the long driveway because that was the only thing that we did not check out I'm going to attempt to open up this gate. Because we haven't checked out the long driveway nor the garage. There's Willis. Hey, buddy. So you guys can see I'm a sucker for long uh, driveways. Especially long driveways with side entry uh, garages. So. This, the aesthetics of the house, uh, I think is just much better. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, the information of this property is going to be below. My contact information is going to be below this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a good day, and God bless.